A Vermont family still wants answers after a loved one died in a jail cell last year at Northwest State. Since Jeffrey Nichols' death, his parents say they feel left in the dark by authorities. ABC 22's Isabel Shoneman reports. It's been six months since 35-year-old Jeffrey Nichols died while in custody at Northwest State Correctional Facility. His parents are coming forward, saying they haven't gotten the answers they feel they deserve about the final hours of their son's life. I've been struggling to get answers so that my family can have closure and that we can move on. State police say Jeffrey was arrested September 8th of last year on a domestic assault charge. Tony and Kim Nichols were out of state at the time. Tony tells me he did talk to his son from jail. We thought he was safe, okay? He did not come out that way. On September 10th, state police say Jeffrey was found unresponsive in a booking cell just after 6.30 in the morning. He was pronounced dead just 19 minutes later. He was a good dad, did a lot of things with his daughter to make a lot of memories. And that were cut short. State Police Public Information Officer Adam Silverman confirmed to us Tuesday he died of an accidental mixed intoxication of fentanyl and hydroxazine. Now you tell me how two other people could be in that cell with being watched every 15 minutes and nobody knows what happened. Tony Nichols says investigators have not yet told him where the alleged drugs came from. Now the Nichols family says they're left frustrated with the lack of information they've been dealt. We don't even know if my son was innocent or not. But he was innocent until proven guilty. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Tony Nichols says he and his wife will not be seeking legal action, saying they just want answers. The Department of Corrections tells me its office, VSP, and the Defender General's office look into all inmate deaths. Despite a, quote, robust screening process, Defender General Matthew Valerio addresses how drugs might make their way into a correctional facility. It happens somewhat regularly. Basically, anybody who comes into a prison might bring drugs. Um, and that includes the guards, that includes contractors. It also comes in with inmates somewhat routinely. People are strip searched. They are also put through a like an x-ray type device. He adds inmate death reports are not public record, but can be requested by some family members. Valerio says he has not received a request for the death investigation report by the Nichols family yet. In St. Albans, Isabel Shoneman, ABC 22 News.